Hello friends subscribe to our channel GDC and press the bell icon for more updates. Hello students welcome to the channel so today in this video we are going to cover some questions with their brief explanation so here we have a first question is as per IP moderately fine powder specification can be written by C number as and the options are option A is 20 2 by 60 option B is 44 by 85 option C is 44 by 60 option D is 22 by 85 so as per IP moderately fine powder specification can be written by C number as option B that is 44 by 85 so here we have explanation on this that as the, all the particles of the powder pass through numerator C number and not more than 40 percent have to pass through the denominator C number. So in case of a single C number all the particles of powder have to pass like coarse powder having 10 by 44 more for moderately coarse powder that is 22 by 60 and moderately fine powder is 44 by 85 fine powder is for 85 very fine powder is 1820 so option b is the right answer so moving on the next question digitalis acts in chf by and the options are option a is sodium potassium atipase inhibition option b is sodium potassium atipase stimulation option c is blockade of calcium channels option d is increasing the refractory period of AB node. So digitalis acts in CHF by which mechanism? So the correct answer is sodium potassium ATPase inhibition. Here we have just a detailed description on this that digoxin which is obtained from the digitalis plant increases the force of contraction of the muscles of heart by inhibiting the activity of an enzyme ATPase that controls the movement of calcium, sodium and potassium into the heart muscle. So calcium control the force of contraction and inhibiting ATPase increases the calcium in heart muscles. So it leads to the increase in the force of contraction. Here we have just pictorial diagram that it is a sodium potassium ATPase which, in, which is inhibited by digitalis or digioxin. So if the uh, ATP, sodium ATPase is inhibited then calcium remains in the, in the cell or uh, in cell then it leads to the accumulation of calcium and which leads to the increase in, uh, increment in anatropy means increase in force of contraction. So hence A is the uh, right answer. Next question is assertion A is base excision repair is a DNA repair mechanism reason are BER is a post replication repair system which eliminates replicative errors and the options are option A is A and R are correct and R is the reason for A and the option B is A and R are correct but R is not the reason for A C A is the A is correct but R is wrong option D A is wrong but R is correct so which of the option is correct the correct answer is that A is correct but R is wrong. That BER that is base, base excision repair is an excision type of excision type DNA repair cellular mechanism that repairs damaged DNA throughout this cell cycle. And mismatch repair mechanism involves correction of replicative errors of DNA and recombination that result in mispaired but undamaged nucleotides so option C is the correct answer that is option A is correct but R is wrong next question is the odd drug among the following based on its action upon adrenergic receptor we have to find out the odd drug option A is esmolol option B is labitalol option C is timolol option D is pindolol 
so which one of the following odd is or is odd drug the odd drug is labetalol here we have a just a detailed description on this that asmolol is a cardioselective beta 1 receptor blocker where labetalol is a mixed alpha beta adrenergic antagonist and timolol is a non selective beta adrenergic receptor antagonist and pindonol is a non selective beta blocker so labetalol is the correct answer and the option b which is option b so moving on to the next question anti helminthi also acting as immunomodulator is and the option a is albendazole option b is levomisole option c is mebendazole option d is piperazine so anti helminthic also acting as immunomodulator which anti helminthic drug is uh, act as immunomodulator also and the correct answer is levomisole and the next question is that all of the following mediums are used for organogenesis except options are option a is white's medium option b is ms medium option c is b5 medium option d is macon k medium so which medium are used uh, all the uh, which is not used uh, which medium is not used as organogenesis so the correct answer is macon k medium let's discuss that macon k agar macon k agar is a culture medium designed to grow gram negative bacteria and differentiate them for lactose fermentation so option d is the right answer next question is the splitting of the spectral lines under the influence of magnetic field is known as option a is lorentz effect option b is zeeman effect option c is doppler's effect option d is self reversal so the splitting of a spectral lines under the influence of magnetic field is known as and the correct answer is zeeman effect here we have just detailed description individual one that lorentz effect lorentz force law can be used to describe the effects of a charged particle moving in a constant magnetic field where the zeeman effect is the effect of splitting the spectral line into several components in the presence of static magnetic field and it is a analog to the stark effect and the splitting of a spectral line into several components in the presence of an electric field where the doppler's effect causes the received frequency of a source to differ from the sent frequency if there is a motion that is increasing or decreasing the distance between the source and the receiver and self reversible is a case of self absorption when a line is self absorbed to such an extent that the peak or central wavelength intensity is less than at the wings on known central wavelengths so option b is the correct answer next question is the unit of absorbed dose of radioactive compound is and the options are option a is becquerel option b is curare option c is gray option d is all of the above so the unit of absorbed dose of radioactive compound is and the correct answer is gray that is the unit of absorbed dose of radioactive compound is gray that here we just description on this becquerel is the si unit of radioactivity that one becquerel is defined as the activity of a quantity of radioactive material in which one nucleus decays per second where curie is a known as a unit of radioactivity and is defined as one curie is equal to 3.7 into 10 to the power 10s decays per second and the gray is the si derived unit of absorbed dose and it is defined as the absorption of 1 joule of such energy by 1 kg of matter so option c is the right answer which is gray next is the string is a problem of suppository is made with and the options are option a is theobroma oil option b is pg option c is massa astrinium option d is glycerol gelatin 
So sting is a problem of suppository made with PEG. Here that PEG is used as suppository base. However, due to however due to its hygroscopic nature, when inserted in a rectal cavity, it takes up the fluid from surrounding mucus and results in irritation due to dryness of mucus. So this problem is called as sting. So to avoid this, the PEG based suppositories are dipped in water to saturate before inserting into the rectum. So option B is the correct answer that is PEG. Next and last question of this video students, the antifungal agent that does not contain imidazole ring and the option are meconazole, option B is ketoconazole, option C is fluconazole, option D is clotri. Mazole. So, which antifungal agent is that does not contain imidazole ring? So, the correct answer is fluconazole. So, that fluconazole is a triazole antifungal agent, whereas the remaining three agents contains imidazole ring. Here we have just uh, that it is a structure of ketoconazole and it is a ketoconazole. And here we have just this one structure is of fluconazole and clotrimazole. So option C is the right answer. So this is all about this video students. Thanks for watching.